I'm literally traveling the UK just for you guys on my main channel. Um, but whilst I'm whilst I'm here, I thought I'd do second channel videos like a vlog sort of thing, um, so you can see where I'm staying, what I'm up to, and stuff like that. Uh, and right now, I'm in a nice hotel room in Nottingham, and it looks like this. Obviously, me in the mirror, towels, kettle. We've got a little safe look, a little safe, miniature safe. Got nothing to put in there. <laughs> All the normal stuff. Nice, lovely bed. Obviously, coronavirus. Everything's sanitised. Um, put all stuff down there. Me Costa, obviously. Um, TV. And I've got stuff all along here. Obviously, that's where I'm going to be editing some video for you guys at some point. Probably this one. Uh, but yeah, that's my little desk for today. Uh, for tonight and then we go to the beauty we go to the beauty I want to enjoy having a shower in here tonight oh would you look at that that's beautiful they're pretty skimmed out on the bath to be fair but the rest of it's pretty nice the rest of it is pretty nice and you've got the sink you got the miniatures down there with cups in plastic, a nice lovely toilet, towel rail. Oh, it's pretty warm. It's pretty warm to the touch, to be fair. And yeah, that's the room. Uh, but like I say, I'm going to show you around a couple of other places because um, this is only for one night. Uh, we're staying somewhere in Sheffield tomorrow, and then. After that, we're in London for two nights. Um, and then possibly somewhere else after that, who knows? Depends where my feet takes me. Live life with a risk, basically. That's that's my motto, live life with a risk. I just know I'm doing these places because I've got certain things planned for these places. So yeah, you'll see them coming up on the main channel anyway. Um, and if you ain't, make sure you follow me on my Instagram because I will be posting on there whilst I'm on this trip. So yeah. On to the next bit. is the ambulance and 911 is the police did you just say yes. <laughs> you actually believe that's real yes. you actually believe that's the thing yes can i just say 999 <laughs> you get out you get to a response receptionist <laughs> right <laughs> and they turn around which emergency service would you like police or ambulance or fire rescue because 911 is a fuck america for the same thing you, uh, you tell them, police please, ambulance please, or fire service. On the 999 call. Yes, because it's fucked up. <laughs> and speak of it's not, speak of the devils. That's a 999 call. You call 999, okay. you get to a fucking thing, and then determine which emergency service would you like, it's an emergency. Yeah? So you want an ambulance, a police car, or fire rescue. Yeah? 911 is America. They're exactly the same call. <laughs> what did you think the fire engine's number was? 888? No, that's not 999. How do you not know this? <laughs> I'd be screwed. <laughs> You'd be fucked. You'd be getting chased by some big, big, like, fucking. I'll bring 911 in and it'll take to America or something. <laughs> Well, not only that, right? <laughs> We've been to hotels. 
Now we're stuck here for four hours. Five. Four hours now. We was here for five originally, but we're wasting an hour having food and whatnot. Oh, but literally, have four hours now. We're waiting for a fucking travel lodge so we can get a room. But someone didn't tell us that it was three o'clock booking when she booked it. The same person that thinks she called 911 for the police in England. Right, so, you just been shot, right? Yep. Whilst I was stood outside, I got approached by the guys in the street raising, raising awareness for mental health, right? The next thing you know, I'm stood there with the bags, right? Someone gets approached, she walks off from them, walks off towards me, and says the following. She turns around and says, fuck them, always begging. Right? Then I goes, you what? At this point I'm covering the wristbands and I couldn't see nothing. Yeah? And she was like, they're always begging. I don't get paid for mental health, so why should I pay them? I don't suffer with it. Wow. You see, yeah. this is what the world is coming to nowadays, guys. And this is in Sheffield. You know, I thought Sheffield was a nice place up until just then. Even the homeless people that have been on the street have been have been quite nice, haven't they really? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They haven't been rude, they haven't been nothing. You know? <laughs> Hello, any spare change? And then if you say no, they say no, it's alright, have a good day and what have you. You know, very good manners. And that's from people that are homeless. You get some greedy cow that just decides to turn around and go, no, they don't pay me, so why should I pay them? Why should you expect to get money for mental health if you haven't got mental health? You shouldn't expect money from it if you, even if you have got mental health. I've got mental health, I don't claim on it. I don't get no money for it. I still spend three pound on a band. At least you're getting something rather than just sponsoring someone or you know just giving them three quid. You know, at least you're getting something out of it. So it's not like it's you're giving away your money. You're actually getting something and people are doing good work with the money. So, I mean, if everywhere's going like this, then they can all go fuck themselves, but that's Sheffield, guys. There's one person in Sheffield that's just like made me pissed off with the whole place. And that's whilst I'm traveling the country, you know? So, I mean, obviously, if you guys are in Sheffield and you see guys raising awareness, if you haven't got no money, then fair enough, they understand. You know, not everyone's got three pounds to spare. But if you have, then you know, as long as it's people that are doing things legit. They both had tags on, they both had signs on. It was from a legit charity. Yeah, so you actually know it's going to something. Yeah, so you actually know it's going to a charitable cause. Um, you know, I mean, and they're giving away wristbands. You can check the website and stuff. Um, www.complex-minds.uk You know So fucking, but yeah Now we're gonna go check into the hotel that we're staying at tonight in Sheffield uh, And then we're gonna go re record some main channel videos So yeah On to the next place